The first example initially started as the base 1 pattern, which was then slightly changed when applied to the sub bass, so it would re trigger in time with base 1's performance envelope modulation. Then I copied base 1 and made a duplicate so I could have a different sound playing with the same MIDI pattern. This involved changing a lot of oscillator settings to base 2, whilst comparing 1 and 2 to make sure that they sat well alongside each other. The sub bass pattern that accompanies base 2 is actually the same as the base 1 part, with less rhythm than the previous sub bass pattern. This is to create some variation by having longer sub notes rather than the hectic pattern used beforehand. I've added some compression and limiting to each sound to give it a more consistent volume in the track. Using it in RMS mode means the compressor will give an average change in volume rather than the quick, drastic volume changes usually needed for drum tracks by using peak. I also used an EQ to remove bass from both higher bass sounds. The EQ was also used to smooth out any frequencies that made the instrument sound too forward and in front of the soundstage already established by the drums. To do this, use a positive sweeping technique and find frequency areas that make the sound stick out even further forward. Then set it back to zero. Reset your ears to the context of the entire track. And then reduce the gain to help smooth the sound out and help it sit within the soundstage of your track. Top end has also been removed, so the instruments don't fight for higher frequencies with the drum cymbals. Then a slight boost to a strong, higher area of each instrument has been slightly increased to help it have clarity in the mix. An automated send to a medium room reverb has been used for bass 1 to accent the performer modulated portions of the instrument sound. As bass 2 is an alternate tone to bass 1, I also further accented this contrast by adding some automation to filter 1 in line with the changes in the riff. I also made use of the delay effect with different timing for the left and right channels to create a wide stereo effect in contrast to the narrower sound of bass 1. Sub bass has an additional compressor last in its effects chain to duck its level when the kick drum plays from the drum section. This technique is explained in detail in another of my Ableton video series, Sub and Side Chaining Techniques for Ableton Live 8.